It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I've been to Aldi recently and I picked up two beers that I've been really interested to review because, and I don't mind admitting a mistake sometimes, I reviewed what I thought was a fake proper job probably about three months ago. And you guys were quite quick to say, hey, no, there's another proper job clone in Aldi, which is the real one, the real one. So. This is it, Harper's Brewing Company IPA, a proper hoppy IPA, 5.5% ABV, 500 milliliter bottle. Get the word proper in that. Now this was £1.29. This is the real St. Austell proper job. A powerfully hopped IPA at 5.5% ABV. Same ABV. You can you notice with the word Aldi, they've used the word proper. They've just jigged around a little bit with the word of the beer, but it's it's definitely a, a clone, a rip-off beer from Aldi. But it's 30 pence cheaper because this is £1.59. So is there a difference? Is there a difference in price? Well, there's definitely a difference in price. Is there a difference in flavour, look, mouthfeel? Let's have a look. So I'm going to start off by opening the original proper job. Coincidentally, I reviewed this just a few months ago as well. We've got a green bottle cap on this one. A nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass. Now, for this review, I wanted to use the same glassware. So I'm using pint pots for this one. Regular pint pots that you find in most pubs and bars around the UK. Oh, look at that! Wow! So I reviewed a proper job just a few months ago and it literally had no sediment in it whatsoever. Fast forward three months... And look at the sediment in that beer. I must have picked up one of the rare bottles where they kind of, it was at the bottom of the tank and they just got some of this through. And of course, a lot of sediments come through with it. Now that's going to enhance the flavour. That is going to enhance the flavour by an awful lot, I think. Uh, one finger white head, golden amber in colour. I would have said relatively clear. But that's very sedimenty. I quite like a sedimenty beer, so I'm fine with that. But just take a moment, if you would, if you want to, to check out my proper job from just three, two or three months ago. And you'll see no sediment in there whatsoever. Right, so. It's in an Otter Ale glass. And this is the um, Belfast Beer Festival, just so I know which is which. So um, let's get the Aldi version open. Got that British bottle cap there on the top. Again, nice amount of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass. We got a two finger, I'm gonna say slightly off white head. Again, this is a, I'm gonna say it's a deeper chestnut color on this one. A slightly deeper color on this ale. It's more of an amber, a real deep amber color this one. Good levels of carbonation though, and you'll notice no sediment. No sediment in this one. So should we hold the two beers side by side? There you go. So the Aldi version is definitely darker, but the Aldi version has got really good head retention. Whereas the proper job, well, both are good. Both are very good. I don't mind it when the head dissipates and leaves a very thin head. It just means you can get into the beer a bit better. So where do we start with this comparison? Do you start with the original beer or do you start with the fake? I reckon we're gonna start with the real one. 
the real St. Austell proper job. Let's get the aroma then. Lovely and citrusy. A good, a good beer, this one. A good, solid beer. If you go to a pub, if you go to a supermarket and there's not much in the supermarket or, or there's not much in the pub and you see proper job, you're onto a winner. You really are. Nice, zesty, grapefruity aroma. A little bit of earthy spiciness coming through. Let's dive in. Cheers. Yeah, fab. I like proper job. Zesty, citrusy. Nice about the carbonation, pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. It's really refreshing and drinkable. A really refreshing, drinkable beer. They've used lovely light malts in this beer. And I'm going to make a point about talking about these light malts. Because, of course, the Aldi version is definitely darker. And I think that's going to make a bit of a difference. By using lighter malts, you, you're basically just extracting a lot of sugar from the malt and you're offering a little bit of wafer-like flavour. So what I'm really saying here is that you're putting the hops on a platform. You're letting the hops shine by not offering a lot of malt flavour. You're letting the hops flavour the beer and you're letting the malt Yes, there's a bit of wafer biscuits in that's coming through, but you're basically letting the malt just off of the sugars to, of course, the yeast then gobbles that up and creates alcohol. It's lovely. A lovely, lovely pint that. And for £1.59, absolute bargain. Let's see what 30 pence shaved off the bottle, which is quite a lot for an IPA. This is one pound twenty nine. Thirty pence, isn't it? Yeah, about twenty, thirty pence. Sweet, but citrusy. There's definitely a, a good amount of citrus coming through in this one. I'd say more of an orange peel, more of a berry-like citrus flavour coming through. A little bit spicy and peppery. It actually smells very good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, it's a different beer. It's a different beer. Actually, it's a very nice beer. It's a very nice beer, but it's much more malt forward. Much more malt forward. This is very much the proper job from St. Austell. Is very much kind of new world, I'm going to say. It's, it's much more lighter. It's much hoppier. This is more of a traditional British IPA where you're picking up a lot of that malt character. The heavens have opened again in the UK, in Wales. We are absolutely, we've, we've had a month of rain in like two days here. Good job, the, good job the Masters snooker is on. I'd be tearing my hair out. Yeah, malty, biscuity, bready, spicy, peppery, nice bitterness on the back end, nice bitterness on the back end, more of a, an orange peel, dark berry kind of hoppy finish to it. It's a very, very different beer, very, very different beer from the real proper job. Why then? Why then? 
is it that you can save 30 pence on the Aldi version? They're both 5.5% ABV. Why are Aldi able to produce this for 30 pence a bottle cheaper? Let me tell you. By using the lighter malts and by using more hops in the St. Hostel, hops are expensive. They're more expensive. They're more of a premium. That's where that 30 pence is going, really. So Nostal needed that amount of malt to go in to create 5.5% ABV. Same as the Harper's IPA. They needed to put a good amount of malt in the beer to, to extract the sugar, to then the sugar to create alcohol. So you need a good amount of malt to get it to 5.5% ABV. But with the Aldi beer, that's where it stops. That's where the money is, is, is creating that kind of malty bitter at 5.5% ABV, the raw malt ingredients. They, they've not put as many hops in the beer, most, most definitely. It's a malt, it's a malt driven English style best, best bitter stroke IPA. Very nice. I mean, in fact, I, I shop in Aldi quite a lot if I, if, if I want something cheap and cheerful and there's no off flavours it's a pretty decent tasting malty beer it's quite strong at 5.5% ABV it's worth that £1.29 but it's not a real proper job the real proper job is kind of over there in that glass so I'm going to rate them, I'm going to rate them. Uh, the, the Aldi knockoff version, the Harper's IPA, a proper hoppy IPA. It's clean, it's crisp, it's malty, there's no off flavours. There's a bitterness coming through on the back end. It's more of a berry-like hop finish. It's a, for the money, for that £1.29 price point for the money... It's a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. Proper job. 30 pence more. Much cleaner with the malt. It's a lighter malt. It's more, it's more clean. It's more clinical. It's more refreshing. It's more crisp. It's hoppier. Good American hops in here. Nice and zesty. For the money, £1.59. 30 pence more. I'm going to say 8 8 out of 10, 8 out of 10 for this one. So th there you have it, there's, there's your choice. The interesting thing is you can buy proper job in Aldi. You can buy it. I bought this bottle in Aldi. So you can stand in the aisle as of 2023 and you can look at these two beers, you can look at the price and you can, you can work out yourself which one is for you. If you want to save some money, Buy the Aldi version. If you want something a little bit more premium, buy St. Hostels, both in Aldi. I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beard and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.